Hello and welcome. This is going to be your reading for May 16th through May 31st. And I mentioned in the last videos that I have an announcement for you guys, something that I've been working on. So this intro might be a little bit longer than normal, but I'm very, very excited to share with you. So most of you know that I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live in the world, I literally have clients in Iceland and Taiwan and New Zealand and Australia and different parts of Europe and Canada and the US and there is an extremely high demand for energy sessions and I'm only one person so I'm fully booked every week and in support of the growth that this has taken. The universe has connected me with a beautiful soul. Her name is Elaine. She is also a master energy therapist and is specializing in distance energy healing and therapy. We connected about four months ago and she started as a client of mine and then we started trading energy sessions. So I personally have been receiving energy sessions from Elaine weekly for the past almost three months now. And she's incredibly wise, incredibly gifted, the energy sessions have truly been life-changing for me and I'm so excited to share with you that Elaine has chosen to come on board with me and own my wellness and she is available for you as well for distance energy therapy so you can um, read about her on my website read the testimonials all the information about the energy therapy is on my website as well and I have a really great 15% discount for first-time energy clients so you can definitely try out a session um, see how it feels for you and I think that's it so this is something I've been working on for a few months now and I'm so grateful to have Elaine as a part of own my wellness so thank you for letting me share that with you um, if you would like a personal reading, the link is below, as well as my link for Instant Go. So that's it. We're going to get straight into the readings, again, for May 16th through the 31st. Hello, Libra! Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. How are you guys doing? I am officially calling this month Momentum May. I feel like every area of my life has got a jolt of like movement forward and expansion. So I'm curious how you guys have been doing. I've already fully shuffled and we're building to this Scorpio full moon which will be on the 18th. Okay, beautiful Libra. So we're starting out with, I'm not really surprised here, I've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords here. So for some of you, this Queen of Pentacles is going to be somebody that you're dealing with, but I am more so feeling this is um, a focus of yours. Like you're really focused on your own growth. Some of you may be branching out and starting your own business or getting curious about you know, wanting to be your own boss or do your own thing. So I feel like you're like examining. She's almost admiring and kind of looking at this pentacle, like how can I grow this? How can I make this into more pentacles? How can this feed my, my happiness, my soul, my desire? And I just, I love the Queen of Pentacles energy because it's very grounded. It's very nurturing. Um, keep in mind this is a general reading, so there, it's not gender specific. It can go male or female. Um, just take whatever resonates with you. But there's a lot of like nature on this card. And to me, nature represents like harmony and growth and just being in an abundant, easy, effortless flow. So it's like getting on your right path and just letting things unfold. And with the Queen of Swords, I mean, this is you, right? This is the Libra card. It brings clarity. You know what you want. Um, you speak, you're speaking your truth, maybe. And I just feel there's been situations lately where you've needed to use different sides of you and different sides of your personality and your character um, in a positive way. So it's like learning how to kind of use the tools that you have for different situations. Um, 
and finding some strengths in there that maybe you weren't aware of that you had. So to have two queens right next to each other, I just feel very strong energy there. And then I've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is beautiful. So fate, divine timing, things are definitely moving forward in your favor, Libra. And I almost, I can kind of, just from the readings I've done for Libra over the past few weeks and few months even, it's like there has been a, like a momentum building of movement forward, almost like Libra's been like building in this bubble and like the bubble is now burst and it's like things are moving forward. So I feel that's what this Wheel of Fortune is kind of representing here. So I love it. It's confirmation. You're on the right page. So keep doing you, keep honoring you and keep putting yourself on um, the things that you need and want as important. And all the rest seems to fall into place around that. Really beautiful. Also, for some of you I just got, if you have started your own business in the past and maybe it didn't go the way that you wanted to, I feel like there's a nudge, there's an inner pull to revisit that, almost like giving a second chance. Because who you are now is different than who you were maybe when you tried something like that before. So I just feel you're in a much stronger, um, a much more um, like solid place within yourself to revisit something like that, Libra. Okay, interesting. So some of you, I feel like, have somebody popping up from the past. I've got the Nine of Wands here and the King of Wands. Could be a fire sign. I do feel like fire energy. So Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And it may have been something that didn't go so well for you. Because this Nine of Wands is kind of um, a little bit defensive and like not really wanting to go through that again. So whatever that is for you. But I feel a strong energy around this King of Wands. So this could be somebody that you're currently involved with. Um, or it could be somebody maybe that you have ended things with, but there's still a little bit of a little bit of a tie there. Or maybe unfinished business, okay? So that'll be different for each of you, but I do feel this King of Wands is somebody that you have dealt with and they are a part like a part of what you've been going through. I'm not feeling this is a new energy. It does feel like an old energy. Could be a boss, it could be a father figure or a romantic partner, okay? And I've also got the Seven of Cups here. So for some of you, like this King of Wands that you were dealing with, were they like not sure what they wanted when they had you? And that's kind of like why things maybe didn't work out. Because I'm just looking, it's like he's got his back turned to this Seven of Cups, which is like confusion or fantasy versus reality. And it's almost like he didn't want to see what he really had when he had it. I say he, but this can be male or female. Um, so this person that you have been dealing with or have dealt with may be examining kind of what they did. I'm almost feeling a little bit of like regret or they're finally like seeing the light of how they treated you or how things went down. I do feel a little bit of regret here um, because he's kind of surrounded by this energy of like, oh, like I don't really even want to look at how I really acted or how I really like put myself across. I do feel this King of Wands is a good person. I feel like good energy around them, but I just think the time that they were involved with you, they were not at their best. They weren't ground. I feel like they weren't grounded. They weren't grounded in which led them to not be solid in a relationship or for you. There it is, jumping out.
Okay, beautiful. So we've got the King of Pentacles, Page of Wands, our Swords, and Three of Pentacles. There's a lot going on with you, Libras, about work this month. Um, so this King of Pentacles, though, this is somebody that you are dealing with. So some of you, it could be an Earth sign. I kind of feel like this can be somebody new coming in because this Page of Swords brings messages and communication and kind of like is the start of something. So for some of you, this will be romantic, but for some of you, this is going to be like a work opportunity or maybe guidance and how to grow those pentacles like we were talking about with the queen of pentacles. But this page of swords can also be like a buzz in your ear, like a thought or an idea that you just can't let go of. So again, if you're being kind of pushed and nudged within to move on a project or a business venture or starting your own thing or switching jobs or something like that, I do feel it's the right time for you to explore really what that is and where you can go with it. Because I've got the three of pentacles on the other side here. Three of pentacles is like a work card. It's collaboration and teamwork. It's long-term visions and goals and what you want to build and create over time. So for some of you, you are going to be bringing into conversation changes with work, changes with your current um, income, business opportunities. So there's a lot of pentacles going on in this reading. So that's very exciting, Libra. But this this... King of Wands, and I literally almost just said Leo when I looked at this King of Wands. So I do feel strong Leo energy here. So if you are dealing with a Leo, there is some regret around that, just so you know. And I think he or she is revisiting their experience with you or how they treated you or how that situation went down. So you may actually get an apology or some sort of a connection or reach out if there's been like complete separation. If they're still kind of around you and involved with you, I feel giving them a little bit of space will help them come forward, okay, with whatever they've been cleaning up and clearing out within themselves because if you look at this energy it's just a little bit like ugh, like yuck it's a lot going on here okay so beautiful reading let me see what we've got any last messages Okay, so the last message for you, Libra, is friendship. I feel the immediate message that I felt was it's really important for you right now to have the support of those in your life, okay? So friends, family, people who you are not necessarily romantically involved with. So I'm feeling just more of like a support group or support system around you. Um, as the universe is kind of moving you forward and fate and divine timing is supporting you right now, okay? So I hope that resonates with you. If not, you can always watch your moon sign, your rising, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Thank you for the likes, subscribes, and comments. I love reading all the comments, so thank you for taking the time to do that. And if you'd like a personal reading, the link is below. You'll book directly through my website. Also, the link is below for Instant Go. And again, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy, healing, and therapy. And if you missed my intro, I'm super excited. Um, I have currently met a beautiful soul named Elaine, who is a master energy therapist as well. And uh, she has come on board with me at Own My Wellness and is available for you for distance energy healing and therapy as well. I personally have been receiving energy sessions weekly from Elaine for the past few months, and they have truly been life-changing for me. So take advantage of the 15% discount for first-time energy clients. You can read all about it on the website, read about Elaine, um, the testimonials, and that's it. I'm truly wishing you a wonderful rest of the month, Libra, and I will see you back here for the first half of June readings. Take care.